Top story tonight, we're talking about President Obama's executive action on immigration. That's right. Tonight, Fox 9 takes an in-depth look at the issue. We have brought in University of Idaho constitutional law professor Shakira Sanders. Thanks for being here. Thanks. So you've been talking about this already leading we up to tonight's speech. And uh, the big question is, is this legal on the president's behalf, on his um, part of this action. issue? Well, the president is tasked under the Constitution to faithfully execute the laws. Yeah. Um, but there is a flip side where the president has prosecutorial uh, discretion in determining who to prosecute for certain violations of the law and who not to prosecute. You said that you've actually been studying this recently, not just because it's obviously been a hot topic, but you've been going to conferences. What's been the buzz at these conferences that you've been going to? What have people really hit on as, this could be a little bit touchy, this is where it's gray? Well, we've seen this type of action before from prior presidents where they, exec uh, and what we can assume here is that, that there will be an executive order outlining the president's priorities um, that he talked about in his speech. Um, one of the big differences about what the current president is trying to do is the sheer number of people that this affects. Sure. Um, before immigration um, executive orders have affected maybe up to a million people. Here we're talking about uh, four to five million people, and that certainly raised some eyebrows. Well, now you've got um, Speaker Boehner saying we're going to sue. Can they sue to stop this? What can be done? Well, anyone can sue for, for many things. <laughs> right. Whether a lawsuit would be successful is, is a little unclear. It may be that the court wants uh, the executive and the legislative branches to duke it out, and therefore the court may take a step back hmm. um, by saying maybe this is a political press question or this is just really beyond our authority to determine whether this executive action is, is constitutional. Shakira, I want to take you back to what Congressman Mike Simpson said in, in a statement to us tonight. He says not only are, is this illegal, unconstitutional, and contrary to the American way, he also says that this has the ability to throw us into a constitutional crisis. I mean, is that just political speak, or is there something true to that? Well, it's certainly a very serious charge. Yes. Um, but whether it, it will end up causing a constitutional crisis is very unclear. Mm -hmm. Again, um, we do have a Supreme Court to decide these issues. If the court declines to really get involved, we also have the option of the president and the Congress coming to the comp uh, to a compromise. And if they can't, the Congress always has the authority to pass a law. They can mm -hmm. amend the existing immigration laws or pass a whole new bill. <laughs> Which, so of course, could be vetoed by the president. Well, of course. <laughs> so what you're telling us is that this is nowhere near over. Oh, of course. I think it's just beginning. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. Shakira, we appreciate you coming in and breaking Thanks, it down for us. You make it much more yes. simple. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely.